Once you're done with the magnetism activities, there's still some work to be done. Now you want to move into the engineering phase of the activities that are in the book. For this, you're going to want to have students start working on combining not only the scientific knowledge that they'll get, but also an engineering aspect and a technology aspect to go with the math piece so that these become really true STEM-related activities. Now let's take a moment to consider the design challenges and how they differ from the investigative research that students were doing in the first part of the book. In these challenges, students are going through the same process that the engineers went through in order to design the shape of the satellite, how they're going to configure those satellites, how they're going to deploy them, and the formation they're going to fly through. This allows students to set aside the science of the mission for a moment and just consider the engineering aspects to getting these satellites to fly into space and perform their functions. Each design challenge offers students a problem that is similar to what the NASA engineers faced as they tried to get the MMS mission together. Students can use this as an opportunity to enhance and learn what are the real skills that are needed in order to be a STEM specialist. So as students work on these design challenges, it's critical that they're able to keep a journal, a log of what it is that they're doing as they go through the process. And in a separate video, we'll show you how to use some technology tools in order to make this happen. But in an old school sense, writing it down on a piece of paper or in a bound book would be a great way for students to get an understanding of what engineers have to do to document the work they're doing. It's also really important to think about the end product that students are going to come up with. And by end product, I mean not only are they constructing something, so in the first design challenge they have to build the shape of the satellite, so they're going to come up with an answer. Maybe they say it's going to be square shaped. But not only do we want students to, to present the square shape to us, we want them to present the process they went through and the reasons why that's effective. So that product is separate from the actual shape of the design of the satellites that they're going to use. So as you consider this, in each design challenge, students will actually be coming up with two products. One will be the answer to the design challenge in a physical sense, and the second is some type of presentation or tool that they will use to communicate their reasons behind why they made the choices they did, the process they went through in designing it, and how it addresses the challenge question that was presented to them. It is crucial for students to go through both processes, the design challenge in the physical sense and how they're going to present it, because when we talk about STEM activities, students being able to communicate their understanding and be able to create the presentation is just as important as the process they went through in getting things figured out. You may also want to consider having students go through a final project on the MMS T-Book as a whole. To do this, students will report out on the science that they learned about, including static electricity, magnetism, and magnetic fields. And in addition, they can report out on their answers to the design challenges for the shape of the satellite, how they will pack the satellites in order to get the shape to fit the container, how they're going to deploy the antenna and the formation they're going to fly through. So if you think about that, that's seven different pieces to the project. You can have students also do the MMS mission as well so they could do a little research and that makes eight groups. So if you have eight groups in your class, you can have them all take a different part of that and construct something together to represent the entire project that they went through in this process of studying magnetism, electricity, engineering, and the MMS project.